That's right, Mr. Cowell. The boss is finally here. <laughs> it's so good to see a member of the royal family sitting next to Simon. It's lovely to see you, Camilla. Yeah. <laughs>I'm going to be performing classic magic. The magicians have been performing for many years, but I'm going to put my spin on it and use it to tell a story about a very special person and one of the people who inspires me the most in magic. He was born in 1918, and he went on to become one of the youngest members of the Magic Circle at the time in 1936. When, war, when World War II broke out, he enlisted into the Royal Artillery and he was sent to the front line in Singapore where he fought bravely for king and country. While he was there, he underwent heavy fighting. He lost many of his friends and he himself was shot numerous times and severely wounded. His family thought he was dead but in fact, he was captured and he spent the next three years of his life in a prisoner of war camp. Amanda, would you sign this card as quick as you can for me? While he was in the camps, he underwent brutal treatment on a daily basis. Treatment that no person should ever have to go through. But one thing that did keep him going was his ability to perform magic. Because he would perform not only for his comrades, to keep morale high. But he would also perform for the guards, who would give him and his friends extra food during the long periods of starvation. But he would have, his favorite trick was to have a sign, a name, to rip it into pieces, to burn it, completely destroying it, pass, fix. And in a second of impossibility, restore hope among his comrades. This is the story that makes me proud to be British. This is the story of Mr. Fergus Ancorn. I'm very proud and honoured to present to you tonight the man himself at 97 years of age, Mr. Fergus Ancorn. in the lives of most of us, we are at war. We shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight in the fields, and in the streets. We shall defend our eyes, whatever they just may be. country that may be small geographically you showed that we can take on the world and yes we can win today is victory in europe day long live the cause of freedom god save the king so let the spirit that delivered these games that brought this country together. Let that spirit live on for generations to come. The king dies, but Britain lives on, and a new hand takes the wheel of state. The little girl we knew had become Queen Elizabeth. Long live the Queen. Love, love changes.
changes everything Hands and faces, earth and sky Love, love changes everything How you live and how you die Love can make a summer fly Or a night seem like a lifetime Yes, love, love changes everything Now I tremble at your name And nothing in the world will ever be the same That's right, Mr. Cow. The boss is finally here. <laughs> it's so good to see a member of the royal family sitting next to Simon. It's lovely to see you, Camilla. Yes. <laughs> it is rare indeed for the sovereign uh, to appear on such an insignificant occasion. But as I look down on you all, I am happy to patronize you. <laughs> Queens have always patronized the arts, and the arts have relied upon the support of queens. <laughs> and, uh, it is with regret, ladies and gentlemen, I have noted that recently Britain's Got Talent has suffered enormously there have been far too many below average variety acts. And I'm not referring to Alicia Dixon. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> I'm sure you all agree that plastic is the modern scourge on the face of this planet. Of all the men and women of these islands, no greater innovation has been made than by our judging panel, 
who have stored a great amount of plastic <laughs> in their faces. <laughs> oh, cutting! <laughs> that direction. <laughs> For their services to the entertainment industry, and, and Dick, as well as David Williams, have been awarded OBE. <laughs> Simon, there is only one thing standing between you and the knighthood, and that's the golden buzzer. <laughs> I have much pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in declaring the search for talent in Great Britain officially open.